You gotta feel so bad for Orvito in a certain aspect. You wanna know why I feel so bad for Orvito? It's because, literally, modders continued to shit on his character almost every single chapter. And you're probably wondering, like, how the hell is he doing this? For one, Madara freaking destroyed the entire concept and logic of what Obito set out to do. The entire freaking manga series of capturing all the bijus. And Madara literally captures all freaking Nine-Tailed Beasts in one chapter? Well, yeah, that, that's flawless storytelling right there. Just besides nitpicking and looking at that... This chapter was pretty good. I like the entire concept of Madara becoming the new uh, Sage of Six Paths. That's really cool. Finding out that Madara is probably going to be the only true person to ever use the full extent of his Rinnegan. I, I cannot wait to see exactly what is going to happen. I mean, the Ghetto Mazu is actually finally out now, extracting all the freaking Bijus, attacking B and Naruto at the same time, and dragging out Kuruma, and uh, it's just in the Hachi. I, I just couldn't believe what was going on at the end. But then I started to think about certain logical things that could probably happen. Okay, there is a couple of death flags that pop up in this chapter, and you're probably wondering, like, okay, what kind of death flags? For one, I would say that B is probably might die soon. I mean, okay, we all know what happens when a Biju gets, like, literally pulled out of a freaking uh, person's body. We know that Uzumaki's Naruto can survive for a while and maybe even live past even being the Biju's extractor from their body. So I would say Naruto is fine if Kuruma actually does get dragged out of Naruto's body. Now, B, on the other hand, I could say he'll die, unless there's some complete ass pool no jitsu that we didn't completely expect. But still, what I'm getting at is, the way I see the plot forming up, we're going to have, like, probably Kuruma getting dragged down Naruto's body. We're going to have all the BGs go inside of Madara. He's going to become the Jinjutikin, and he might use the powers to actually increase his power instead of actually becoming, like, I guess, the Tentels. So that would be really cool there. I don't want to have to see the Ten Tiles all over again, because that, that would really be redundant and repetitive if Kishimoto decided to go that path and try to completely bring up the freaking Ten Tiles out of nowhere again. Because I don't think Madara's actual plan is the same plan that Obito was trying to accomplish in this entire series. I think Madara has a more simplistic goal. The entire annihilation of everyone in his freaking path. I mean, Madara... A pimp slap all the freaking Bijus with his Rinnegan with one freaking Jitsu. I don't know what Jitsu he used because it's a Jitsu we haven't got to see yet, but it definitely is a Rinnegan Jitsu. So, what kind of power did he use? And I mean, for him to do that type of power to nine tailed beast in what, like under a second, that is crazy. I cannot wait to see this entire fight animated. The real war begins now. That is the true thing about this chapter. Because, I mean, Madara is finally getting serious. He's revealing his powers. He's got his eye back. He does have his other eye, but he at least has one eye now. He's literally absorbing all the tell beasts inside the Ghetto Mazo and into himself with infernal chains. Now, let's get on to another death flag that basically I thought was popping up out of nowhere. Okay, Naruto's father, Minato. Now, we know he's been around for a while, and we know Naruto's finally had his fated reunion with his father, and we know that his father has half of the Nine Tails chakra inside of him. So, think about this logical as a show and jump type, I guess, you know, manga and anime. We know for a fact what kind of route Kishimoto would take if he wanted to be very generic. Which I'm not going to say he'll take this route, but seeing a lot of different, I guess, standardized, you know, show and jump type, I guess, concepts with the storyline. I could see that Minato will most likely sacrifice his, like, Ninetale Chakra inside of him, the other half of Kuruma and put it inside of Naruto to be able to have his complete power-up. But, the one half of Naruto is going to get dragged out of Naruto into the Ghetto Mazo. So, right there, I mean, I guess Minato would sacrifice himself to save his son from actually dying from the lack of a Biju being inside of him. So, right there, I could see that really happening, and Minato giving his final farewells, sadness, and basically going on to the afterlife. Which would be really cool, in my opinion. It would be really interesting to see something like this. Now, there's another route that most likely this story could take. Naruto actually has to fight Madara by himself, no freaking absurd power-ups by the Nine Tails, and I will actually have to accomplish this goal by himself. He will have no help, no support. He will have to fight Madara, godly Madara, with no Bijou. Now that that would be a really badass fight. I I I I'll be honest with you, I don't understand how in the hell Naruto would be able to fight him. I mean, Madara is bossing Bijus, and so. 
Naruto without a Biju inside of him, I couldn't imagine how OP Madara would be if he had all the Tell Beasts inside of him. So the main point I'm getting at is, there's two different ways the stories could take, or Kishimoto could do the third route and do something completely unexpected, I don't know. But I do see death flags in the near future, Naruto the way it is going. I don't know who will die, but most likely it's either going to be Minato or B. Tell me what you think in the comments below, what did you think about this chapter, did you hate this chapter, did you like this chapter, what do you think, do you think Kishimoto is becoming predictable with his chapters, what do you honestly think, please let me know in the comments below this video, hope you all have a wonderful day and out wherever you live, please stay safe, and Chibi out.